Urethane balls. They are the talk of the town. Some people love them, some people hate them. You wanna figure out how to get yours to love you a little bit more, these tips are gonna be helpful for you. Welcome back, my name is Justin Bone. Today, we're gonna to be talking about three tips that's gonna help urethane balls be more attracted to you, and there's gonna be a special bonus tip at the end, so stay tuned for that. As for now, let's get right into it. First tip I got for you guys today is drilling them strong. Now obviously this is something that you would do even before you throw the urethane ball, but drilling them strong is gonna give you the best overall reaction. Drilling them weaker is gonna take away from the capacity that the urethane ball brings. Drilling them stronger is gonna give you more overall hook, and since the ball is supposed to go straighter for the most part, drilling them strong is gonna be really beneficial to help give you the overall shape. Now, if you're looking for a certain purpose that you wanna drill them weak, that's okay too. But drilling your first one, if you only have one, making sure you drill it strong is gonna be pretty beneficial for you. Which leads me into my next point, looking for early hook instead of the down lane hook. Urethane balls are meant to hook in the front part of the lane and not hook down lane. That's what the shiny balls are for. If you want something that's gonna be clean to the front and hook on the back end, the shiny balls are good for that. Urethane is not gonna like you if you're looking for that back end reaction. Use the front part of the lane, let it hook in the front, use that to your advantage. The urethane ball is gonna help control the back end reaction, so you're not gonna to wanna to look for that down lane hook. Overall, urethane balls are gonna be better on the fresh when the back ends are fresh and you're looking for a hook in the front. Urethane ball, 100% the go-to on the fresh. Which leads me into tip number three, using more surface. Using more surface is going to allow your ball to hook even earlier than what the ball comes out of the box or what you used it previously when bowling. Surface is something that a lot of the pros use to help get their ball to do what they want it to do. If they want their ball to hook a little bit earlier, they'll use a little bit of a lower number. If they want their ball to hook a little bit later, but still have some of that early traction, they'll use a little bit of a higher number. Low numbers meaning 360, 500, 1000, and then the higher numbers being 2000, 3000, or even 4000. But when we're talking about urethane, we want to use those lower numbers, 360, 500, or 1000. So now we're going to go into some examples. I've got my favorite urethane ball with me today, the Purple Hammer. Gotta love it. And we're gonna be going through some of the tips that I talked about and explaining each of them a little bit more in depth. So when we're talking about urethane, bowling on a 35 foot pattern today for this video, players are gonna use urethane on the short patterns more times than not, so I feel like it's a perfect example to use for it. Using my handy dandy purple hammer. You can really use any urethane ball, but I'm using a purple hammer. I feel like it's the best example because it's the best one on the market. Get yourself a purple hammer, buddiesproshop.com. So when we're bowling on the short oil patterns and using the urethane ball, straighter angles through the front are going to give us the best overall reaction and help us control the back end of the pattern. So right now, using the example, playing straighter angles, I'm standing on nine, looking at about six. Straighter angles through the front, letting my ball hook early in the front part of the lane. So you can see that one, how smooth it was off of the end of the pattern. That's exactly what urethane balls are really good to do. And what allows it to be that smooth off the end of the pattern is hooking in the front part of the lane. So one of the points that I highlighted was surface. So right now, I'm gonna take a 500 pad, hit my purple hammer with 500, let it take a couple of shots to calm down. The first couple of shots, they're gonna hook a lot. And you're not gonna love it. But after it calms down a little bit, you'll love it, it'll love you, and it'll all be fine. So standing in the same spot here and just looking for the difference and how much more this ball hooks overall. So you can see that one wanted to get into a roll much more sooner than how I talked about the first one, it always hooks more. Let me give it a couple more and then we'll talk about it again. That was crazy, right? Have thrown that one a lot better. What do you say, ball? Six. I want to love you, feel you, wrap myself around you. Talking about the urethane, singing to it real quick. That's fine. Got a little excited there. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got four shots on it, uh, the third shot was a little quick, so it didn't really do what I wanted it to. But the rest of them, you can see, they really hooked early, and then they started to calm down a little bit. So now, 
you can see it's starting to hook now in the front part of the lane even more than it was before. So now as that urethane ball has calmed down, time for the bonus tip. Let the urethane ball do what it's supposed to do. Let it hook, don't make it hook. What I mean by that, the urethane ball is supposed to go straight. You're supposed to be further right. Don't try to make it do something it's not designed to do. Get further right or left if you're left-handed. Get closer to the friction, let that ball do the work. You don't wanna make the ball do the work. You wanna let it all happen. Being closer to the friction is going to allow you to make that much easier. So, bonus tip, don't make it hook. Let it hook. Okay, back to bowling. See, when you let it off your hand that good, that was fantastic. That went through the pins incredible. Let it hook. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna wrap this one up. Three ways that urethane balls are gonna be more attractive to you. We talked about drilling them strong. We talked about letting them hook in the front and not looking for that downline reaction and using more surface. And when you're doing all three of those things, just let the ball do the work. You don't wanna to have to make it hook. Just let it hook. Drop a like if you guys like this tip video. Drop a comment down below if you wanna see more tips and let me know what tips you guys want to see. As for now, that's gonna wrap this one up. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace.